My fascination with Germany over the years led me to travel to Germany this year, not once, not twice, but three times. Can you believe that? And each time was nothing shy of incredible. I absolutely enjoyed myself. And you guys recommended some of the best spots to experience culture shocks, practice my German, and a whole lot of other things. And I'm very grateful for that. In fact, you guys recommended that I travel to Hamburg, which was after visiting Köln, my first trip to Germany. And I quote, if you think that Köln is the best place in all of Germany, you need to check out Hamburg. It will absolutely blow your mind and well ladies and gentlemen um, I had a very interesting experience in Hamburg enough to where I could not cram it all into one video as you could imagine so um, make sure you guys like the video subscribe if you guys are new and sit back and enjoy the ride because it was definitely an experience I will never forget I think we have seven hours left until we land. Seven hours, man. By the time I land, it'll be halfway through the night and I have to take the S-Bahn to half of the city in the first place. It'll be pretty interesting. I've been like studying up on some of the common phrases I need to know in Deutsch, but, but it's all good. I'll work on it. So I'm in Hamburg finally, dude. Made it and um, I'm actually about to grab some food. It's late as fuck. So basically what happened, I landed and I realized the last minute that <laughs> there's a strike going on in Germany, bro. So obviously that means I can't take like the public transportation at least tonight. So I took a taxi. I'm not gonna lie, your boy was in a little bit of a predicament when I first landed in Germany. Let me explain. The S-Bahn, the Deutsche Bahn, all together, has been giving me problems since my second trip in Germany. From trains getting canceled to delays, it wasn't a fun time. This one was new to me because when I landed in Germany, I landed extra late. And my only means of transportation, at least to my knowledge, was the S-Bahn. The S-Bahn was closed due to an ongoing strike. And that put a wrench in thing. Okay, I found out through all of you guys on my Instagram, and if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you probably should, because I don't think this will be the last trip I make to Germany, trust me. I went on my Instagram story, I posted that I landed in Germany, in Hamburg, and everybody warned me, James, you do know that there's a strike going on, so the S-Bahn actually isn't working. You might have to take a taxi. And when I tell you, I thought I was about to pay an arm and a leg and a goat sacrifice for this taxi ride. I thought I was about to go broke. Taxi dropped me off at the hotel, so of course I had to pay. You know, it wasn't that much. Taxi ride from the Flughafen to here was, I don't know, like 40 bucks. Not bad at all. So he showed me around. He actually showed me like where I can get some stuff to eat. So kind of just been chilling or whatever. I posted a couple posts on my Instagram, let everybody know like I made it, I'm okay, everything's good. But yeah, man, I'm gonna try to find a fucking doing a spot real quick. That's exactly what I did. As I mentioned earlier, the taxi driver that showed me around told me that at night, the only spots that will be open are Duna spots. Thank God for me. And as I went to go explore the Duna spot that I was gonna eat at, I noticed something peculiar across the street in the form of a, uh, how do I put this? Sex shop, wide in the open. Something you wouldn't normally see in the United States. Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is my first official day, beginning of my day in uh, Hamburg, Germany. And uh, if you guys can see behind me, this is actually where I'm staying right now. Uh, it's something that I got at the last minute because my dumb self forgot to book a hotel for my first few hours in Germany and stuff like that. By that, I mean the first like 16 hours. I thought I was gonna land in Germany on the 16th. I landed in Germany on the 15th at like nine o'clock PM or 2100. So I had no place to stay. So I had to go ahead and get a spot at the Best Western. This is what it looks like. We got a, let me show you the room tour, man. This is what you see when you first walk in. And then of course, you walk in through this, this little room over here. Bam, there's where the bed is. And this is actually something I wanted to talk about, right? Which is why is there one bed frame, but two beds? Why couldn't they just make that a king size bed? I mean, they did say king size bed and then boom, it's split in the middle. 
I have no idea. This is like, I call it the friend zone bed. I mean, you could have just got two beds separate of each other. That's what they normally do in American hotels, but in German hotels, dude, I've constantly seen this. I think somebody's supposed to sleep here. Another person's supposed to sleep here. You know, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Of course, like the other thing that I wanted to talk about too are these pillows. They're a little bit wider than the pillows that we have in America, but they're soft as hell, okay? I mean, that's probably because it's also a, a hotel and it'd be kind of weird if hotels had stiff pillows, but I have heard some reviews of that being a thing. I have like a bunch of US dollars that I really want to convert to Euro. So I'm, I always bring some money with me and whatnot in cash just in case they don't accept card because there are a lot of places out here that still don't accept card. As you can see, the architecture out here, bro, absolutely phenomenal. The buildings are very big. The architecture feels slightly more modern than what we saw in Hun. So yeah, the goal for today is to get some food. Oh, righty guys. So um, I'm heading to the Hauptbahnhof right now. Uh, gonna meet up with somebody so you can show me around uh, Hamburg, bro. So far, so fucking dope, dude. It looks so cool. <laughs> You guys are telling me to come here from the jump and I went to Cologne instead. Um, and Cologne was amazing, loved it. That's like my very first impression of Deutschland, bro. But this, insane. It's so interesting seeing the city like this after playing GeoGuessr and seeing the city through the eyes of that, you know? Yeah, I'm definitely here. I'm just waiting for somebody to tell me to not film in this place, but this is super sick, man. This is way different than the other train stations. I guess on each side, you guys have different stores and shit, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, I think if I turn over here, right, like we got, like, I think there's like four different, like, uh, escalators or some shit. There's probably like six, honestly. I, that's, a, that's what I can see from here. Dude, I'm so aware of how sketched out people get for like, ooh, fuck, for filming out here so I'm about to go grab a Franz Brochen from this place called Franz and Friends right I'm gonna try to zoom in and show you guys what this looks like but uh, I've heard really good things about it people are like dude if you this has like some of the best Franz Brochen wait, 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 wait. so you see right there holy shit this looks so cool so I guess this I've never seen this many I've only seen like some yeah, places that offer like yeah, one but this cool. is like super cool it's, it's like they are specialized on Franz Brötchen oh my god <laughs> that's so cool so I'm about to try like a Franz Brötchen for the first time now I watched somebody like eat this years ago and I said that this is my favorite food without even trying it so I'm about to try it now and see if I like it <laughs> hold on Yes, oh my god. It's like a croissant with cinnamon on it. And um, I don't know, I think it's a better cinnamon roll. That's the best way to describe it. It's a better cinnamon roll. They sell other things, but it's mainly, it's like 99% French brochure. Mm. And it's different types. So I have that one, and I have another one in here and stuff too. But I'm gonna eat this and then eat the other one. We're about to go walk like the Elbe River. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So this is like the morning, like I guess not really early in the morning. It's almost afternoon actually. Dude, I'm loving Hamburg so far. Over here, we got like these statues. It looks kind of funny. These two goofy looking statues. <laughs> Get these normal people with the super long legs, man. Holy shit. <laughs> it's interesting, man. It has its own vibe. I've never seen so many like rectangular windows. Awesome, so I guess, uh, it's so a durst lusche, so thirst something, thirst. It's lusche? like erasing your thirst. Oh, okay. Thirst so, eraser. A thirst eraser, so durst lusche. And I guess this is like a childhood drink. Dude, what I noticed immediately, this it's funny because we have something in America called high C, which is super cool. High C is different because high C looks just like this, except it's half the size and it says high C on it. And they have like fruit punch or like berry flavor. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, so the box is way bigger. It's 500 milliliters of liquid versus America where I, I don't know like metric system very well. So I'd say like 100 milliliters of uh, juice in America. This is like a, it's like the most like 
delicious fruit punch flavor. All right, guys, so after like walking around and whatnot all day, each structure is entirely different than the one next to it. Like if you look behind me, look at this and look at this and then look at this and then look at that. It's cool to see all of this, you know? I feel like there was like a huge explosion of architecture that were dueling to see who could make the most impact, you know what I mean? So there's still building like some new buildings and stuff around here, which, you know, that's like anywhere, especially in the cities, there's always like, you know, constant development and everything. But I think here it's really cool. Get to see this in person. So I mentioned earlier about the architecture and stuff and how like everything's so different. Like you'll have a house like that's one color and one design and then right next to it another one behind me is exactly what I'm talking about but then look across the street look at that and then look at that and then look at that and then look at that that's crazy right it's interesting because if you look at most neighborhoods like they have a theme to them right they have a theme or something this is like it's like a whole nother world bro I feel like I'm like in a Willy Wonka movie or something dude that's the view it looks nuts I know for you guys, you guys are probably like, dude, that's just every day, bro. Like, it, this is so normal. It's not normal for me. So, if you look behind me, dude. Look at this. It's like the uh, graffiti and stuff over here. So, I know when I play a lot of GeoGuessr, I would always say, like, dude, if there's graffiti, it's gotta be Berlin, bro. Literally, on GeoGuessr, it would show me this on the map. Like, it, it, it would take me to a random area in Germany, and it would have, like, you know, this type of graffiti, and it'd be like, oh, dude, that's Berlin. Easy. <laughs> or, like, the graffiti over here. Then I'm like, dude, that's definitely Berlin, but it's not. This is Hamburg, and like, I guess they're known for like having some super dope graffiti. So this is cool, man. I like this. This is like creative as hell. This is like some of the one of the more creative pieces I've seen. I want to see more, obviously, because I'm a creative mind myself. So I'm gonna be venturing off and seeing uh more of Hamburg. We're at uh, a train station, Ulanstrasse, and we're about to, you know, take a nice little ride around um, Hamburg. I'm super, super excited. We've been walking around like all morning or afternoon, I guess, looking at a bunch of stuff. We had Franzbrüchen. We got to see some really cool architecture. There's cool architecture everywhere here. I think it's a lot cleaner than Köln. Like, I didn't realize how like, Köln's not dirty. I will say this, something that I brought up before that was a big issue to me at least is something that can be an issue here like carrying cash you know because if you do have that i mean you are pretty much a walking target people might pickpocket you and shit blah 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 which is why i love the card system but you know germany it's still partially cash based <laughs> so yeah i guess we're off to the next spot we're on the wrong side of the platform we're supposed to be over there taking the train but eh, it is what it is So we're at Schakowsky Platz and then there's this beautiful building, dude. This is the Fernsehturm. The Fernsehturm. Oh, fuck. Hamburger oh. Fernsehturm. Dude, this looks better than the fucking Dusseldorf Turm, the Rhine Turm. It's not as tall, it doesn't look like, but it looks way more like a spaceship than the other one. Dude, this looks so cool. I feel like I'm in like a Spider-Man movie, you know, like, yeah, we're going to go and walk into one of those science museums and I'm gonna get bit by a spider or something, you know? Like, <laughs> so look, if I'm panning the camera around, you guys would think that this would be early in the morning. It's actually like one or 2 p.m. right now. Earlier this year, um, the sun didn't set until like 11 p.m. 11 p.m., so that was 2300, the sun set. Now, it's fucking four, bro? Holy shit. Dude, holy moly, we're here at the Hamburger Dome, dude. We're in Hamburg, gonna get some hamburgers in the Hamburger Dome, dude. It looks like a circus almost, man. So, it's weird because you see the Kona Dome, you can definitely see the Kona Dome, and it looks like a dragon castle, but you see the Hamburger Dome, it looks like a carnival, man. I know that this right here has to be expensive. If somebody in the comments could let me know, how much it costs to live in this building, that would be absolutely remarkable. But by that time, I would have pr probably done my Google research and figured it out. But let me know in the comments down below, how much do you think it costs to live in this establishment right here? I'm gonna say probably $3 million per apartment. 
You got like the little stands and stuff over here, man. The artwork is super cool. It's like flattering, man. Oh, hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> and then you got the Hansa train, which is super cool too. I think it's, oh, dude, crazy, man. Did it work? I don't know. What is this supposed to do? You will see. And now... What? I love Hamburg! <laughs> it's, it is... You know what that is? That is the five cent coin. That's the five cent coin? Yeah. It's an actual five cent coin? Yeah. What? Oh my god. You wanna have it? <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank you. No problem. Oh my god. It just made a coin out of that, dude. They took her money and then turned it into this. Of all the times that I've had like beer and stuff and I've made, gone to beer gardens in America, this is a legitimate beer garden here in Germany, dude. Crazy. We're about to go inside and see if we can get something, anything to drink. Oh my God, Ostra. I remember this from like the last time I was here. If you guys saw my German beer test, taste, test, taste testing video, that's a lot to say. I was like, man, I liked it a lot. So. It's cool having it in a beer cool. Oh man, it's so good. It's so good. Oh my god. Now my, my soul is about to get all warmed up from the alcohol. It tastes very like bready, you know? Beer is a food here, man. It's acid. It's not a drink, it's acid. I'm not gonna lie, when I was introduced to the Hamburger Dome, I thought I was being pranked because the Kuna Dome is this giant dragon of a castle looking cathedral, right? And when I was looking around, I was looking and I'm like, wait a minute, where's the Hamburger Dome? And then my tour guide was like right there. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> you can't be talking about the carnival that says, dome on it right turns out that's exactly what that was and aside from being incredibly shocked at the fact that the dome was a carnival and not a cathedral i got to try some really good food like the schmaltzkebeck and this really delicious donut here that was absolutely mouth-watering needless to say i had a really good time oh and i almost forgot to mention i tried out this little archery booth while i was at the hamburger dome and while I might not have been the best archer, I gave it my all. And uh, <laughs> I missed, I think, almost every single shot, minus the last one. The last one finally hit, and I walked away with uh, something. But I had a really good time. <laughs> I would definitely recommend any of you guys to go check this place out if you get the chance. Archer. So, um, yeah, we just did archery and whatnot, and as you guys saw, I was kind of trash. I'm not gonna lie, but that's me in a nutshell. Uh, there's a lot out here, man. It's super, super cool. Makes me wonder, what's the Vinox mock look like? Holy smoke. What is up, everybody? So I just got this, uh, I don't even know what this is called. It's on pita bread, but it's really fucking good. You can see like the steam coming out of my mouth. Look at how good this shit looks. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of you guys are like, but James, you didn't even get to see the, the iconic parts of Hamburg. Trust me, I definitely did, and those videos are coming up. That was just my first day. I couldn't do everything in my first day. Everything around me was very overwhelming, and I wanted to soak in it, okay? So there are a lot of future videos that you guys are going to definitely enjoy, from Elfa Harmony to boat tours to the Miniatur Wunderland. All of that and more will be explained in the future. I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed this video, please join me again in our next adventure. Take care. Peace.